Anyways, welcome back to the Davy Brown 990 Restoration. For those of you new, my name's Barry. As you can see, today, at the minute, is beautiful sunshine, about 14 degrees, lovely day. Half an hour ago, pond in a rain, grey sky, wall to wall, freezing. It's just, you cannot work it out in the UK at the minute. It's just, honestly, it's all the hell. But anyway, we're going to take advantage of this, hopefully this nice little fine spell. And we're going to rivet my liners onto our shoes. So we've got my little rivets here. This kit came from AgriLine. What I've made from a parallel punch is a little punch with a tit on the end. And the tit fits into the hole in the rivet. These rivets have got a hole in the end, but it is not a through hole. It, it's solid part way down. We'll measure that with a highly accurate measuring stick. You'll see that it's not very deep at all. So, what we're going to do, the idea of the punch is that it locates in the end because the tit is parallel and there is a slight flare on the end of here, it just opens this up and then starts to collapse it. It doesn't try and roll it over. You can get proper tools for setting these rivets. Um, I think, but I was having difficulty getting the one 316, so I could get 516s, but I couldn't get 316s. And I think the 516s were about 70 or 80 quid. And everybody was saying, just use a punch, flathead hammer, you know, have a go at it. So, what we're going to do, there's long rivets and there's short rivets. Right, long rivets and short rivets. Long rivets go through this section, short rivets go in this section. And I think I've got a buggery one here somewhere, there it is. Really dodgy one. Solid, too short, totally wrong. So we'll have to have ourselves a look around see if we can find a 316th brake rivet because we're going to be one short somewhere. We're going to put another parallel punch in the vise we're going to put the rivet through we're going to rest it on the rivet and we're going to come down on top of here with this punch let's have a go see what happens eh? so we're going to get a couple of our short rivets we're going to start from the middle and work our way out let's just have a look at this pop a rivet in there, place that on top of the, the punch, make sure that it's not sitting on the, the brake material. This is the hard bit, trying to balance everything on your tod. Right, let's have a look here. easier if I had a really solid workbench, wouldn't it? Right. Let's just grab another punch and just tap that with another punch. But before we tighten it up, we'll get another short rivet and we'll go in on the opposite side.
just to make sure that everything's lined up. This is where it would be really helpful to have another pair of hands. There we go. Nice and tight that. Right. Let's just get back to this one. Right. Two more short ones and we'll work our way out around the shoe so it takes any slack out of it as we go. Beautiful tell your mother, as Lance would say. Next, or oh, last, short one. I think it would help if I had some decent quality punches that were straight. Okay, long ones. Just give this a little tap home. shots all the way into the material <laughs> tell you gonna be uh, you need three sets of hands for this Pulled in nice and tight there. One more long one. Sorry about that, did I bump you there? I 
going to put that the other way people so I can balance it going to be a tinker this one isn't it Managed to Right, one more. That rain again. This is what you could do with a friend to hold this lot in place. Because at least then you could blame them when the rivets don't go right, couldn't you? That one's not getting in very deep. Okay, one more, last one. That in there. Right, here we go. It should be a whole lot nicer in a fly press. I don't think you get it with an arbor press, but you definitely get it with a fly press. That's still moving just a touch there. Of course, as I say, nice big solid bench with a lovely big vice. I've got a big vice. Okay. So that's on. That's on. Now those shoes have got leading edges and trailing edges put on them. But over the moon with that. Right. Okay. Right. That's one shoe finished. Not the bonniest rivet in the world. But it works. That's nice and tight. We just need to dress up the edges, make sure the edges fit there now properly, and then we'll put them on the back axle and we will put a brake drum on. Bonnie bright yellow. And then they're still mashed off, but then my shoes in there like that. Right, for those of you that may have noticed, 
But that the box is shut. I'm going to put a bit of video on the back of here as to why Betty left with. Um, she still comes back, you, you, you'll see her in all the other videos. She's running about, her and her hubby. She's still taking lots and lots of worms. She's obviously got a nest full of chicks, the amount of worms that she's taking off with at the minute. Um, but she's still kicking about, but she's just not nesting in the letterbox anymore. And this is the reason why. Right, well thank you very much for joining us. That's it for this very short video on riveting my brake linings on. That's here, not very pretty, but it's functional, isn't it? Other than that, you spend 70, 80 quid on a tool, you probably get the same results anyway. Right guys, as always, your time's greatly appreciated when you come visiting us. If you found the video useful, please give us a thumbs up, like it, subscribe, tell your mates, Hopefully the next job, and that's why I had to do this today, hopefully the next job will be to get the final drive castings cleaned and painted, uh, sat and steam cleaned and painted. Then get some reassembly done. I'm going to do, I'm going to put the drive shafts in, get them on the tractor and then put the internals in once they're on the tractor because that's the easiest way to do it. Um, it's easier to handle them when they're only half uh, the weight that they will be when they're finished. However, thanks for visiting. Um, hopefully see you in the next one. God knows when or what it'll be, but hopefully we'll see you in the next one. But remember, don't overthink it. It's only nuts and bolts. See you later now. Take care.